T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. Hey kids, welcome to Kids Life Online. My name's Samuel. And I'm Michaela. And we have so much coming up today. Are you excited, Michaela? I'm excited. Samuel, tell us what we've got coming up today. Today, we've got praise and worship, which is always super exciting. We've got a message, and I think we've got a minute to win it. I love minute to win it. I love them because I win them. Well, actually, I win them. But let's get ready for praise and worship in three, two, one. Hey Kids Live, I'm so excited. We're gonna be singing our praise and worship song. So everyone stand to your feet. Let's go, get those moves out. Let's start dancing, everyone.
David and Vanessa and Talia here from Kids Life North and we are super excited to be talking to you guys today about our memory verse. That's right, so today's verse is John 15 verse 5. It says, I am the vine and you are the branches. If you remain joined in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit and you can't do anything without me. How cool is that? Amazing. So, what we're going to do to try and remember this verse today is we're going to go on a bit of a treasure hunt. Yay! So, we need to find some branches, we need to find a vine, and we need to find some fruit. You guys ready to go? Woo! Let's, let's go. do this. Now, let's start by finding the first one, the vine. Can you guys help me find the vine? Let's have a look. Can we see anything that looks like a vine? Hmm, what's this thing over here? Hmm, I wonder, could this possibly be a vine? Yes, well done, you guys found the first one. That's amazing. So, next we've got to find the branches. Can you guys spot any branches along here? I think. That could be branches. Yes, well done. And now let's see if we can spot any others. Hmm. I wonder where they could be. Yeah, all of these are. Well done, guys. Yes. And how about, Talia, can you show us your, your branches? You have so many branches. That's amazing! Well done guys! Now, we still have one more to find. Can you guys tell me what it is? Hmm. That's right! Well done, Talia! It's fruit! So, where are the fruit? Hmm, someone's excited! Let's go follow her! Let's follow her! Where are the fruit? Oh! There's the fruit! Yeah, we've got some fruit. Well done. Guys, you did such a great well job. Well done. You found all three. You found the vine, you found the branches, and the fruit. Well, well done. done. That's amazing. And remember, it's John 15 verse 5. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain joined in me, and I in you, you will be full of fruit. Can't do anything without me. Oh, and someone's excited for the branches! Are you ready? Oh my goodness, it's meant to win! Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, your host for tonight's event. Hey Kids Life, welcome to Minute, minute to win, win It. We are here for a minute and we are going to win it. I need my game hat. Oh. I'll get that later. We are going to need some pens and a bucket. That is all we're going to need today for our Minute to Win It game. So what you need to do is set up your, oh, just got my game hat, set up your pens so that they can flip into your bucket and we are going to go for a minute to win it. Now, I used to be really good at this game back in the day, but it seems like my fingers have grown a little bit since then. Oh, that one went a little bit far, surely one. Yes! Oh, guys, I'm actually really good at this. Oh, see, not really. We've got 25 seconds left on the clock, ladies and gents. How many pens will Tiana get in the does that count? I reckon. In the bucket. Oh man. Oh man. That's all we have for you today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for participating in Minute to Win It. We are going to head to our message right now. Hey kids, today we're going to be talking about the message and we're talking about God with us, which is pretty exciting when you think about it. 
we get to hang out with a God who wants to be with us and he wants to have a relationship with us, which I think is just absolutely amazing. And to help us with that and help us learn about how much God wants to be with us, I'm gonna talk about a story of Samuel. And you can find the story in 1 Samuel chapter three. And we're gonna pick it up with Samuel living in God's temple, which is pretty exciting. It's like staying over at church all the time. And Samuel, when he was at God's church, at the temple, he stayed with an old man named Eli, and Eli was a very important prophet. And so in, chap in 1 Samuel chapter 3, we see Samuel sleeping next to the Lord's temple, uh, sleeping in the Lord's temple, and then he woke up because he thought he heard someone calling out to him, like, Samuel, Samuel. And so he got up and went, ah, oh, Eli must need me for something. So he ran over to where Eli was sleeping and said, Eli, I'm here for you, what do you need? And Eli, waking up, being old and tired, was like, I didn't call for you, go back to bed. And so Samuel, a bit confused, went back to bed and lied down again. But then he heard it again, he was woken up again and he heard, Samuel, Samuel. And so he got up again and went, Eli must need me. And so he ran to Eli and Eli once again went, I didn't call you, go back to bed. And so then Samuel, really confused this time, went back to bed. But then still one more time, Samuel heard his, voice, his name, Samuel, Samuel. And being extremely, extremely confused, he got up and went, man, Eli must need me. And so he ran over to Eli and went, Eli, I'm here for you, what do you need? And Eli, being a really wise prophet, caught on and went, if I've not been calling Samuel, but he's been hearing at his name, it must be God. And so he said to Samuel, Samuel, the next time you hear someone calling your name, say, speak, Lord, I'm listening. So Samuel, having not really heard about that before, went back to his bed and lied down, a little bit confused, but with instruction this time, and went and lied down and fell asleep again. And then he woke up one more time, Samuel, Samuel. And he went, woke up and he went, speak, Lord, I'm listening. And the Lord then spoke to Samuel, which is pretty amazing. Like, just imagine hearing God speak to you. And what God said to Samuel was all of these things that were going to happen in Israel over the next few days. And so Samuel was amazed and he had all of this instruction and it was really exciting because he had heard from God. I love that story. I can't believe that we have a God who wants to be with us. He has so much relationship for us that he can't contain it and that everyone can be his friend. Now, in the Bible, it talks about if you wanna have that relationship with him, all you have to do is say it with your mouth and believe in your heart and it will be so. And so if you want to have that relationship with Jesus, if you wanna have that friendship with him and have him talk to you and give you encouragement and things that are coming up and all that sort of stuff, it's really easy. We're just gonna pray this prayer right now. And if you repeat after me, then, it'll, then you will have that relationship with Jesus and it'll be super awesome. So here we go. Dear Jesus, thank you for wanting to be my friend. Thank you for wanting to have a relationship with me and always being with me. In your holy name, amen. Unreal guys, well, we'll see you next time. Wow, what an amazing episode. Did you have fun, Michaela? I had so much fun. We had so much fun. We hope you guys had just as much fun as we did at your house. But one thing's left to do. Do you know what it is? What is it? It is competition time, I Michaela. I love competitions. Oh my goodness. We want to hear what you guys did on your holidays. I'm sure you did lots of fun things, but pick one, take a photo, send it through to us on social media, and we will get an epic prize pack out to the winner. But that, that's all for now. That sounds so good. I'm Samuel. I'm Michaela. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.